you got to turn from all of your sins, guys. If you don't repent, you're going to perish. You have to get right with the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only way to heaven. Jesus Christ is God, guys. We've got to turn from our evil ways and put our faith into him. Yo, let's have a conversation, man. Let's talk about your salvation. Okay. Here you go. Do you think you're a good person? Have that. You have this. You could have it. Do you think you're a good person, man? No. Good answer. We have all fallen short of the glory of God, man. We have all sinned. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I fucking know. I fucking know. This last, this past election, I might have done something very crazy. All right, but do you know what what we what us can what we can do to be forgiven in God's eyes and actually be able to enter heaven? Kill Biden? No, man. I might do something. Uh, let's have a serious let's have a serious talk, man. Your soul's at stake. I'm not here to play games and joke oh. around. Um, I, I don't know what's the guy did on a Rust server though. You know, you do know this game is Rust, right? Yeah, I know it's Rust, but you're still a human being, and I still care for your soul, man. <laughs> you do know it's Rust. Yeah, I still care for your soul. Okay, so, Alright. Here, how about this? Let's do a little bit, here, 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 take this. Let's do a little bit of gambling and talk this No, you, you can, I'm not gonna gamble with you, man, but I can sit here and talk talk with you. I don't need to gamble to have fun. <laughs> but let's get, you get, well, this feels weird. I feel like we should gamble while we talk, though. No, you need, to get, you, need to, you need to break out of this addiction, man. You have gambling addiction, and Jesus Christ can help you. If you have an alcohol addiction, if you have a well, weed addiction, really if you have a pill addiction, if you have heroin addiction, he can take it all away from you, man. Call upon the mighty name of Jesus. Nope. I have a horrible gaming addiction. I'm going to say that right now. I actually do have a horrible gaming if addiction. If you have a sex addiction, you can call upon Jesus and he'll deliver you, man. Oh, shit! Sorry, I just got a 10. I, plus, I lost stuff on 10. Right, so do you, do you know I'm what sorry. God did for Look, us, man? I just got, come on, come on, I just got, woo! I'm not down for a gambling addiction now, woo! Woo, better gambling addiction, first try, son of a bitch, woo! -hoo. Dude, woo. you must repent or you will perish. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. So, I'm already going to hell, man. No, no, it's, hey, Jesus, dude, up. Jesus forgives, man. Over half our species are going to hell. Jesus forgives, man. Yeah. I have I have no reason to be here talking about Jesus, but he forgave me, man. I was a very bad person, and he forgave me, and now what I live for do? him. What did you do? I broke most of the commandments, man. I broke most here, of the commandments. Bro, bro, I, I've had a hard time believing in Jesus right now. I had a hard time. You want to sit down and I'll talk? Yeah, well, sit down and I'll well, talk well, about I'll it. Talk, man. Now, what's giving you a hard time to All believe right. in Jesus? Fuck. Probably my father passing away. It was a nice day till my father decided he's gonna pass away and he um he did something to himself that killed him. And, and it was a very rough time. And I got so mad I just got mad at Jesus for it. Sorry, man. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I get why you and, can hate God for it. It was actually pretty it. recently too, so it's just, it's it's been it's pretty rare. it's been pretty recently too, so I'm still a little angry about it. It's sad. You have, you, have, you have every yeah, right I'm to be angry I, because about because it. Of it I'm a, because of it, I probably because of it, I've probably been suffering depression for about oh God three, four years now. It, it's been rough. It's been real rough. And now his messenger is sitting right next to you, telling them that he wants to forgive you, man. He wants to give you peace in your soul, peace in your heart, peace in your mind, man. All you got to do is call out to him and turn from your sins, man. Call it to Jesus, man. Read, read your Bible. It'll give you the word that you need. It's the word of God. And the word of God does not return void, man. If you put your faith into him, you have everlasting life in heaven. As you said, this life's coming to an end, man. This life is but a vapor, the Bible says. It's here and then it's gone. But if we live our life for Jesus Christ and turn from our evil ways and lose our old life, we'll have a new life. And that the new life we get in Jesus is better than the old life we could ever have. Better than any old life we could ever imagine, man. It's, it's a, it's a, you, you, we, you priest? I, we I, love I'm our sorry, sins. I'm, 
I'm, I, I'm still trying to process all this right now. I'm still trying to process all this. I'm sorry. Man, Jesus cares I, I'm for you. I'm trying to process all this Jesus, right now. Jesus cares for you, man. No, but we, I just, we just, man, you're like, you want to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Hey, man, that's what I do. I, I used to play this game just to say that I'm friendly and then shoot you in the head, man. Like, I used to play this game for my own personal gain, but now I'm trying to spread, uh, I'm trying to spread the word. Oh, I see. I'm trying to spread the word of the person who saved my soul. I know he could save your soul, man. Jesus Christ forgives. It's not no too question. late for you. Did all this happen? What? Did Jesus forgive you recently, though? That's what I'm trying to remember. That's what I'm trying to process. No, I, I uh, so I, I didn't start off by going to church or anything. I started off realizing that there's a, a true God. So I started to seek for this God. And I started reading the Holy Bible. And I read it cover to cover. And I actually just got baptized today. But I've been with the Lord for a while, man. Today was the day what? I got baptized. I've been, I've been with the Lord for a while, man. I've been reading his I word and walking with him. Okay. Yeah, but baptism is rep uh, a repentance of sin. So when you're a little kid, like when you're a little baby, you don't really have sin. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Ash, no, there's original sin, right? Isn't there original sin? I mean, like a baby. Yeah, like a baby sin. doesn't have sin. Like a baby that just got born. It, it hasn't fornicated. Uh, it hasn't wait, wait, lied. Wait, it hasn't wait, stolen. Wait, wait, wait. It hasn't done anything i thought i thought baby is born with original sin though i thought baby is born with original sin from adam and eve right where where uh are you like a catholic no sin from adam and eve yeah catholic uh, can i tell you the truth about the catholic Where church man i'm a follower of christ i am not a dominion i'm yeah. not a division of i'm not a branch of religion i just follow the words of jesus christ and jesus christ alone you know that jesus christ says Call no man oh. father and repent your sins directly to me. The Catholic Church says, call me father and repent your sins to me. It's blasphemy, man. It's not true Christianity. It's it's works of the devil. He wants to deceive and murder. Get out of that false religion of Catholic, man. Jesus Christ is the only way. We have to obey Jesus and not religion. We have to obey Jesus and things he says because he is God. He is the son of God and he is God in man flesh. And when he rose from the dead, he proved that all his teachings are true. He overcame this world for us, man. We just have to put our faith into him. He will fix your heart, man. He will fix your mind. All you got to do is call out to him. If you start to reach him halfway, he will meet you the other halfway. But if you're running away from him, he's going to separate himself from you. He wants to fix that okay, pain in your heart, man. I think I, know. I, think, I think I get it. Yeah. Hey, yeah, man. So the Catholic Church is um, it's not true Christianity. All you gotta do is get yourself a holy Bible and start to read it. It's the Word of God, man. If you start seeking for Him, you will find Him, and He will transform your life. I don't know if I, I don't know if I had enough time to even read the Holy Bible. I, I I tried once, but it didn't go too well. I, took, I guess I just got too tired and it just took too long. Was it? Were you reading a King James version? No, the Bible, like Holy Bible, Catholic Holy Bible. I'm a, I'm a devoted, dude, I'm a devoted Catholic. I, I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a devoted Catholic. I know, but do you realize, do you understand that Jesus said, call no man father and repent your sins to no man? And do you see how the Catholic Church has a priest in yeah, there yeah. saying, call me father and repent your sins to me? Can't you see the contradiction? Who should we follow, the man in the church or Jesus Christ? Oh, the man in the church is the man who calls himself Father because he's trying to teach us. No, no, he's, he's trying, trying to, he's trying to teach try, us the words of Jesus no, Christ. No, he's, he's not, he's not teaching. He gave us. If he was trying to teach you the words of Jesus Christ, he would tell you, don't call me Father and don't repent your sins to me. But they're trying to mislead people into hell, man. That's why you have disparity in your heart. That's why you have pain, man, in your mind. Because you've been misled from Satan. You know, did you realize that every single pope has blasphemed God. In the book of Revelations, it says the Antichrist spirit will not desire a woman and it will blaspheme God in his own house. Now, there has not been a single pope that has been married. All they want is little boys, man. And they go. if you look at the quotes from all of the popes, each one of them have said things that are uh, extreme okay, blasphemy. I'm not very uncomfortable. I, I'm not... I'm not very uncomfortable now, honestly, after you said little boys. I'm not very uncomfortable. I don't like that either, man, but it's the truth. The Catholic Church is known for pedophilia, 
And that's why it gives a bad look to Christianity, because Satan wants people to hate Christianity and run from Christianity. That's why if you see a Christian movie or a movie that has any Christianity in it, 95% of the time it's a Catholic church because the Vatican and Hollywood have a deal. We have to be true Christians and follow the words of Jesus only, man. He's the only way into heaven. Not the man at the church. He can't save you. That man at the church has sins of his own. The only person that could save life is Jesus Christ. Where do you think you're going to go when you die, man? That's the question whether or not I ask will actually happen. The question I'd rather ask will actually happen. Because in all honesty, I kind of... I'm a man of science, honestly. I'm not really a man of science. I kind of believe in God and all that. I, I believe... All right, you're a man of science. I believe in science that we are created from... The, from yeah, I'm a man of science, all right. honestly. All right, well then... Do you, do you do you not believe that God created it? Because if you're a man of science, you you would know you would know if you're a man of science that nothing cannot create anything. So to say that this was all created from nothing by a big bang, it goes against science, man. The same way that you can look at a painting and know that somebody painted it, oh, even geez. though you're not sitting next to the painter, you're looking at creation. Therefore, you know that someone created it. Same with this house. You might not see the builder, but a, but how do you know I, someone I built have it? A quick question. Yes. There's a man right here. No, no, no. <laughs> well, you know, you get <laughs> the, the idea. This right here. He's waving at me right imagine now. He's this. waving at me right imagine, now. What do you mean? This guy's right here. Imagine no, he's this. He's waving at me. Listen, listen. Say you're walking through a woods and there's an abandoned house, but you don't see the builder and you see nobody there. You're not just going <laughs> to assume that nobody wait, made it. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why would you assume wait, 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 that nobody made right it? there? Yeah. Why would you start, like, why would you start, you're in, the middle of, you're in the middle of the woods? What kind of horror story? I don't know. I'm looking around and I see a bunch of trees. I'm just talking to you, man. I care for your soul, man. Jesus wants you to start following him and turn from your sins. He doesn't want you lying. He doesn't want you stealing. He doesn't want you drinking. He doesn't want you being a homosexual. He doesn't want you fornicating. He doesn't I, want you being an adulterer. I'm not even able to... I'm not... Bro, I've never done that. I'm a, I'm a devoted Catholic too, honestly. I'm also a man of science. I kind of believe in both. I do believe in a God. I definitely do believe in Jesus and all that. I believe okay. in all that, but I also just don't believe... I believe that he used science to create us. Does that make sense? The Word of God says that he spoke everything into existence. That Jesus is the Word. Yeah, but I believe he did that through the way of science. I believe he, like, he created like the first monkey. He believed he helped. Probably, I like to say that he pointed out yeah. the evolution towards us, to his greatest creations. Does that make sense? Yeah, can you create a monkey? With, with semen, I can, and the woman. No, you can't. <laughs> okay, come on. No, you can't. That, that was, yeah, yeah, that was a good joke. Come on, that was a good joke. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a good joke. Come on. Come on. And the Bible we says... We are monkeys, this... though. We're homo sapiens. No, we're not monkeys. We're human beings. We have a dominion over animals. Wait, you there, sir. You there, sir. You're... Sir. Sir. Oh, You're talking about... Oh, shit. It's a megaphone. Hey, man. Hey. No, I rebuke that. I bind <laughs> Satan and I bind his toast in the holy name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke you into the darkness. <laughs> uh, we're just talking about... We're talking about Jesus because I'm saying, "Hey, let's no, dude, I'm telling you, <laughs> uh, dude. Hey, it's not random. It's not random, man. There's a battle for your soul right now. Satan wants to take you to hell forever. Put your faith in a Jesus Christ and turn from your sins. I'm a messenger of God. Don't listen to this guy, man. We're talking for a reason. And look what happened. Uh, uh, no. This is not yeah, a coincidence. He has a megaphone, though. I cannot harm him. This is, uh, this is not a coincidence, megaphone, sir. Though. What do you have? You have a satchel. You sir, have a satchel, man. this is not a coincidence, sir. I'm telling you about Jesus, no and then Satan comes up. See, he wants you. He wants your soul. Is this Satan? Is this Satan? I'm, not, I'm not a Jehovah Witness. Right I'm a follower of Christ. I follow Jesus, and I follow Jesus only. I don't follow religion. Hey, man. 
Oh, hey, do you mind if I pray for you, man? Because oh, I feel like you're, you're, fall, you're chasing Satan. Why are you chasing where Satan? Are what are you doing? I, your soul's at stake. Your soul's at stake, sir. <laughs> it's not a joke. <laughs> this is all just too random. It's not random. Everything's for a reason, man. They'll never catch me. Shit. Guys. Hey, man. You mind if I pray for you in the red in the red jumpsuit? You mind if I pray for you, man? So I hope you find the truth in Jesus. He's the Who only the one. hell are you calling the red jumpsuit? Who the Dude. hell are you calling the red jumpsuit? I don't know. Red skeleton neon jumpsuit, man. This is not... This is, this is a sexy... There you go. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you right. Hey, there, where do you get that megaphone? Where can I get a megaphone? Where the fuck you have to buy it? the DLC pack for like thirteen dollars. Where do you get that megaphone? What? Where? Uh, you have to buy it on the Steam store, and it's like a, a content pack. Oh really? Don't <laughs> don't. don't Satan's gonna give you little toys and whistles, and he's gonna take your soul. It's not worth it. Hey man. I get. I tried, man. I tried with you, and I try to. Megaphone, I try to bring Christ in your life, but I guess the Father's oh, not leading you to Him. So I'll leave it at that, man.